When I was a little girl, I had big dreams of becoming an artist. I used to spend countless hours creating designs like these. This is actually the first catalog I created to share with my first clients ever, also known as my Barbies. I knew from a young age that my heart was drawn to the beauty of nails, but as I share my aspirations with my family, their worry cast shadows on my path. They fear that pursuing my passion for nails wouldn't bring the financial stability they wish for me, urging me to choose a different path. However, I had to face my fears and push through, so I had an idea to look for inspiring tutorials on the internet. But when I first started, finding helpful tutorials was a real struggle and many people in the industry wouldn't respond to my cry for help. But I didn't let that discourage me. I was determined to gather the knowledge and experience along the way, with the hope of one day sharing it with others who face the same challenges. So now, with the help of God, all of you, and technology, here I stand, ready to help you on your journey. I am going to teach you how to do acrylic nails for beginners, and I want to encourage you to never get discouraged. Let's talk about the essentials. You'll need some nail tips, nail glue, a nail cutter, a sanding band, primer, monomer, acrylic powder, a brush, a carbide bit, top coat, cuticle oil, a hand file, an e-file, and a lamp if you're using gel. To begin, we need to glue the nail tips on the free edge. After. Find the perfect balance between practicality and style. Then snip snip and we're good to go. Oh, don't forget to blend those nail tips seamlessly with your natural nails. Then use a soft brush to whisk away any lingering dust. Remember this guys, primer, primer, primer. Apply a thin layer of primer to your natural nails. This helps ensure better adhesion and longer lasting acrylics. Monomer and polymer are the two key components used in the application of acrylic nails. Monomer is a liquid substance that acts as, I call it, the building block. It is usually a combination of liquid monomers such as ethyl methacrylate and a catalyst. When the monomer is mixed with acrylic powder, it initiates a chemical reaction that leads to the formation of a hardened material known as polymer. Before we start with the application, prep that brush, ladies. We don't want any air bubbles ruining our nails. We want them to be smooth and flawless. As my acrylic powder for today, I am going to be using the color Velvet from my Brights collection because it's soft and natural and just perfect for this look. We're going to use the three beat technique, which is a commonly used method in acrylic nail application. It involves using three separate beads of acrylic to build and shape the artificial nail. Here's how it works. The first bead is for the free edge. Dip the brush into the monomer and acrylic powder to create it. Apply it gently, pressing it and spreading it to create a smooth and well-defined free edge. This bead helps to refine the shape of the nail. The body bead is the second bead of acrylic, slightly larger than the first one. Place this bead on the center of the nail, closer to the free edge. Use the brush to spread and shape the acrylic, extending it towards the size of the nail. This bead helps to build the body and thickness of the nail. Last but not least, the cuticle bead. Place the brush near the cuticle area of the nail, just above the natural nail bed. Use the brush to spread and push the acrylic toward the cuticle, creating a thin and even layer. This bead helps blend the acrylic to the real nail and to the body of the acrylic nails. By the way guys, remember to always clean up your cuticles to avoid any lifting issues. And don't forget to remove any excess from the brush and a paper towel as you work. Repeat the same process on all your nails and let the acrylic dry completely. One way to check if the acrylic is dry is by tapping on the nails. And if they make a clicking sound, that means they have completely cured. It's time to enhance the appearance of your nails by using an e-file and a hand file. Removing excess acrylic ensures that your nails look clean, neat, and well-defined, creating a smooth and even surface for a polished and professional finish. Additionally, this process promotes better adhesion, reducing the likelihood of lifting, which can lead to nail damage or breakage. It's also an effective way to control the length of your nails, offering more precision than cutting with a nail clipper as it helps get rid of rough edges that snag on your hair, on fabrics, or any other surfaces. So, for the finishing touches after filing and cleaning your nails, you can decorate them with some stunning designs using glitter, rhinestones, or simply finish off with a clear top coat for a natural look. It's all about expressing yourself. 
Elevate your nail game by treating yourself with an aromatic cuticle oil followed by a relaxing finger massage. Your fingers deserve some TLC. And my loves, it's time to unleash the fierce diva within and rock those gorgeous nails of yours. I want to give a special shout out to all of you amazing people who joined me today. And if you're enjoying this type of content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and explore my other videos. As always, stay blessed, stay fabulous, and keep slaying those nail goals.